Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I'll be showing you how to fix PC keeps crashing after installing updates or during driver installation. If you are watching this video, it's been chances are your PC crashed in the middle of a Windows update or during device driver installation. And now it's won't even start properly. Maybe it's stuck in a bootloop. Maybe you are staring at a blue screen or a black screen. Either way, you are locked out of Windows. Don't worry, you can still fix this. But you will need to use Windows Recovery Environment or WinRE. Note, this video helps only the fixes you can perform from recovery mode, not from regular desktop. So, let's get started. First, we need to get into WinRE. If your PC already took you there, after a few failed boots, then fine. If not, hold down the power button and turn off your computer. Do that three times in a row while it's booting. On the third attempt, Windows should automatically load recovery mode. Once you are in, you will see blue screen with options like continue, troubleshoot and turn off your PC. Click on troubleshoot. And from there, we will start working. If the crash happened right after an update, here your best option is to uninstall it. To do that, click advanced options. And then uninstall updates. You will see two options, uninstall latest quality updates and uninstall latest feature update. Start with the quality update. That's the smaller, more frequent one. If that does not fix it, come back and try the feature update. This can solve most stresses after update issues. Try this and don't forget to let me know in the comment section. Alright, if you had a restore point created before the update, then you are in luck. First, go to Troubleshoot. Click Advanced option and select System Restore. Pick a restore point from before the issue started. Windows will roll your system files and settings back to that time without touching your personal files. If you are not sure which point to choose, go with the latest one before the crash and check once hopefully your problem will be gone. If you are a bit more advanced, you can use command prompt in WinRE to run deeper repairs. To do that, open command prompt. Now type rstreoi.exe and press enter. It will launch the system restore manually if the manual option does not work. Now let's turning off the driver signature enforcement in case Windows is rejecting unsigned driver after the update. To do that, type bcd edit space for slash set space no integrity checks space on and press enter now let me tell you what this does is it lets windows boot without blocking drivers that are not officially signed note it's not a permanent fix but it helps you get back in don't worry to re-enable it later you can type this command all right as you can see the status Operation completed successfully. Now close the command prompt 
and click on continue to reboot once and to check the problem is solved or not. Ok as you can see the boot was successful without any problem. Now once you are back on your desktop the next step is to find out what causes the problem in the first place. Look for any drivers that were installed around the time the crash is started. Once you have found the suspicious driver you can either roll it back or uninstall it using device manager. After that, you can re-enable the driver's signature enforcement. To re-enable it, open the command prompt as an administrator and type the command bct edit space for slash set space no integrity checks space off and hit enter. This is very useful if you suspect a driver is crashing the system and preventing startup. After that, reboot once to check if the problem is solved or not. If none of that works and I means nothing helps, the last option is to reset the PC entirely or reinstall Windows. To do that, select Troubleshoot and click Reset this PC. Then choose Keep My Files. This will keep personal files but removes apps and settings. Remove everything. This option will full wave your drive and clean state. Next, we will need to choose between Cloud Download, which downloads the latest Windows image from Microsoft, and Local Reinstall. It uses what already on your device. If the update itself was corrupted, in that case, the Cloud Download option is safer. Just make sure you are plugged into a stable internet connection. I know it's frustrating, but you are not out of the options. Take some times, go to step by step. And I am sure one of them will definitely help to fix the problem. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment and share when you need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.